and the people who aren't here can watch it later. So welcome to microbiology one, I guess it's called introduction to microbiology. This should be sections bio 22104 and 22105. Those are the two sections that are assigned to me. So all in all, there are approximately 56 of you in the course and I am, uh, I have what they call cross-linked the courses in Canvas. So all of the people in both courses will be invited to everything and we'll have all the same announcements um, and be doing everything sort of more or less together. So here is my homepage on Canvas. And when I log in, there's just a few things that I wanted to show you. Um, if you haven't used Canvas very much, I would remind you to um, do the training webinar for students. They added the day today uh, at 3 p.m. So if, you, if you're just a little bit rusty or you feel like, oh, I can't remember how to do this or that, by all means, just register for the webinar and go check it out. All right, so this is us, and I've labeled us as uh, 04 and 05. I'm hoping to put a picture in there, an actual photograph, um, but haven't done it yet. And right now, this is all that's in your, <laughs> this is all that's in your course. So uh, this is the situation, as I can explain it to you. Um, we, I worked through the summer, and so I was teaching until the end of July and did not have access to either my Canvas shell or to Connect through most of August. And the reason for that is because we can't have our Canvas shells until we're actually assigned to a course, um, which did happen in like in the very last day of July. And I can't import Connect content until I get the course paired. And there's a new edition of the textbook, so there was a little bit of delay. So now the course is paired and we should be able to sail through just fine. I did not teach microbiology in the summer session. The last time I taught micro was in the spring. So uh, a lot of the material I'm I am gonna try to recycle from the spring. Some of the videos will be from spring. However, since we finished the semester online, so I have materials all ready to go for the last eight weeks, which is why I haven't loaded them in these modules. All of the material for the first eight weeks is going to be, I'm gonna be generating that day by day, hour by hour, literally. So try to be patient, please. I understand that you're going to get frustrated and I'm going to get frustrated. The technology doesn't always work. Um, things happen. We have thunderstorms. Hopefully I won't have to have Zoom meetings from sitting in my car outside Panera this semester like I did in the summer um, when my internet was out. So just try to be uh, patient because I'm doing the best I can, really. Um, so all I have up here right now is these two items because we are still getting conflicting information to tell students how to enter into Connect. So I don't know what to tell you at this moment because you're supposed to have purchased Connect as part of your registration fee. It's supposed to be what they call first day. So you should have your subscription to Connect, but um, I've been given conflicting information whether to tell you to enter it from NIH Connect over here where you see my icon or from course materials. My understanding is you have to go through course materials first but I don't know. So that's kind of a wait and see. I'm, I'm working on it again today but there are many people involved. The publisher, the bookstore, Barnes and Noble headquarters, all these places trying to get this to work. So Please try to be patient. I will start putting assignments in. Um, right, but I don't know one of these buttons, either Connect or Course Materials, the first time you go in, you're going to have to register. I believe it's with your email. But I don't know which one to tell you to use right now. The bookstore says use this one. The publisher says use this one. And in the past, without first day, I've always used MH Connect. So right now, both these buttons are here. My suspicion is for you, one of them is going to disappear in the next couple of days, and then whatever's left is how you're going to always access Connect. Okay, that's, that's all I know right now. Please do not get the temporary access. I understand that you want to get started, but the temporary access doesn't last very long. I think it's two weeks, and then I can't transfer all of your homework assignments from the temporary access into uh, the Canvas gradebook. So just hang on. 
I'll just adjust. That's another reason why there aren't many dates here because I don't know what the dates are going to be yet because I don't know when we can actually, when I can actually expect all of you to have access. And I don't think that's fair to tell you to read the first three chapters when you can't access your materials. Okay. Now, so I did put up a course outline and I was just going to run through this really briefly with you. It's the same as what we would do if we were in person. Um, Oh, I forgot to hit the I forgot to hit the um, record button. No, no, I did. Okay. Okay. So, Caitlin, you said you used the MH Connect button and you were able to read the book. Awesome. Um, excellent. So, hopefully, it will just be using that button. All right, so the book we're using is Cohen and Smith. It's the sixth edition. It's a new edition, just came out. So, and obviously I'm gonna be giving you somewhat graded homework assignments in Connect. Now there are 100% exercises. So what that means is you just do them over until you get the right answer, right? They're to help you study, but it also kind of gives you a little boost to your grade. You must purchase a lab kit, which I still don't see on the bookstore available for you to purchase. Don't know. Again, still working on it. We are gonna actually do some laboratories. You're gonna get a box. I believe the process is going to be, you're gonna purchase it from the bookstore. You're gonna get a code to redeem with Carolina and then Carolina is gonna send the kit to your house. Okay, that's what I've been told. Um, other courses are being run differently. Some of the lab kits, it's okay if you don't have a kit yet. Um, great. I have no idea when they're gonna be sent out. I don't have a copy of the kit. I don't even know what's in it because they haven't sent one to me. So that's another reason why I'm not really sure what exactly we're gonna be doing for the kit labs because I don't know what's actually in the kit. My intention is that either myself or another instructor, we will be able to post a small video of us doing a demonstration of whatever exercises are in the kit. And then I can put that on my Canvas page for you on, in the module, you can watch it and then perform the experiment. We are going to use some of the virtual labs that are also in Connect. And those just got moved to Connect August 1st. So they were someplace else and they were a separate product, but now they're integrated with Connect. So I didn't have access to them before, but now I do. And I'm gonna start dropping those in. I have heard you're also going to get some sort of a plastic microscope. Haven't seen it, haven't used it, don't know. But when I got one or when I see one, I will certainly give you the instructions on how to use it and what we're going to try to use it for. Um, it's gonna be an adventure, right? Um, the photo atlas is listed as required on the bookstore website. You do not have to have the photo atlas, okay? That's a recommended. As an individual instructor, I'm not allowed to change what I want for just my section. So that's because some of the instructors require it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I am recording and uh, I can also record, if you can't come to the Zoom meetings, that's fine. It's no big deal. Attendance and Zoom is not required. It will help you because that's where I am gonna give lectures usually for an hour during the Zoom meeting. So if you can come, great. If you can't come, I'm going to record them. I usually don't record the question and answers. I upload them to YouTube and then I put them in your Canvas page embedded so you can just open them up. Um, I can just show you, I have one in one of my bio one classes. Um, and just so you can see it, right, what it'll look like, it, it'll be labeled video is how I do it. And then I label the chapter. And then when you click on that link in Canvas, it'll just be my head, usually in a very unflattering thing with like my mouth open, my eyes closed and a play button, right? So you can just hit the play button and watch the video, right? Um, I'm hoping to move my blackboard um, up here to my new Zoom space, um, out of the kitchen, which is where it's now, but if I can't, um, some lectures may be in the kitchen with um, the blackboard, so um, we'll just we'll do what we can do. All right, let's see if I can get back to our Canvas page, like I said, which has very little on it, and I apologize for that. I'm just working on getting the materials and getting them out to you. 
um, course description online completely, lecture and lab, prereq is Bio 111. I really recommend that you have Bio 111 if you got into this class without that by a red card. Um, someone red carded you in and said, oh, you'll be fine even though you don't need the Bio 1. You really need the Bio 1 because there's a lot of repeat from Bio 1. So um, I put specifically which parts are repeated. Most of it's the molecular stuff and the chemistry stuff. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that that makes it difficult, especially at the beginning if you haven't had Bio 1. On commitment, it's a lab science class. So, um, whoa. I, um, so it, you need to spend a lot of time doing this. So the, you need to read the chapters, which will take you a while. You need to do the Connect homework. You need to watch the lectures. Um, most, some, most have no outlines to go with the lectures. Sometimes there's a set of PowerPoints. They're just the pictures from the book. I usually don't even put any extra words on them. So sometimes you'll see me, um, and that's a technology issue. Sometimes you'll see uh, one of the Zoom meetings will be me sharing a screen with you and what I'm sharing on my screen is the PowerPoints. And then I will draw on the chalkboard. If it is in my house, since we only have one laptop, if it's my turn with the tablet, I can actually draw on a whiteboard. My computer says it has a touch screen, but it doesn't really work very well. And in that case, then you'll see me drawing on the whiteboard, but then I can't use the PowerPoints because it's a tablet and it won't load them. So technologically, I totally admit I'm partially handicapped. I can't go into my office. I can't go into lab. I can't use the equipment that the college provided for me. So just like you, I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have. So I just put this on here because we always tell students, usually for a science class, it's about, you should figure about 15 to 18 hours of work, both in class and on your own total for you to achieve a really good grade, right? It's about when we're in person, it's about two to three hours of time for you outside the course that compared to the time you spend with me. So that just kind of gives you a ballpark. It is gonna be way more demanding than most of your other online courses. It just is, there's so much more material and content that you have to get done. And it's not a lot of discussion and, you know, um, turning in papers. It's like, you have to read this, you have to do all these connect exercises, you have to turn in a lab report, you know, it's, it's it's science, right? All right, so that's that. I'm hoping that each module will correspond to one week. That's what I'm planning on. And they're gonna open at 12 a.m. on Mondays and close at 11.59 the following Sunday. Each module will cover two to three chapters and that will include a video, uh, PowerPoints or lecture notes, um, and then the connect activities that I expect you to do and the lab exercises. Lab is not gonna start until we get the kit except the virtual labs. And that's not gonna start until I'm sure you all have access to connect, okay? So I get it. And I don't, you know, in person, I'm like, yes, we have to do all these things. You have to do them right away because I want you to understand how rigorous the course is. But in the online world, I'm trying to be more, this course is just gonna get harder over the next like three or four weeks until we get all the components rolling, okay? So I want you to, understand that and expect that. Yes, it's just gonna, I'm just gonna keep adding more things as I have the capacity to add them and you have the ability to do them. I will be reasonable, right? I can move assignment dates. It's not impossible, but try to remember there are 60 of you in this class, right? And I, I get it. In the online world, when we just talk to each other one-on-one, -on -one, it feels like you're the only person that I have to talk to, right? And so, Put that out there. You can read all this, blah, 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 right? So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I have no idea about the lab reports. I think some of them, there are, what I've been told is I can um, assign a pre-lab activity and a post-lab activity in the virtual labs and you can just do them and they'll be auto-graded. There may be some where I ask you to turn in some drawings, take a photograph of them or upload them, um, scan them and upload them. We'll just kind of see how that goes. Exams, which are called quizzes in uh, Canvas. Five of them right now. Might break that down into a few more. One attempt, there are times, they're 70% of your grade. They average about 40 to 60 minutes. 
uh, the quizzes will always be on Tuesdays uh, and they'll be open all day from um, 12.01 a.m. until 11.59 p.m. Uh, the question format is usually objective, 45 seconds per question. It's like a real quiz. You, you don't have time to look everything up. So you need to study as if you were taking a real in-person test. Um, again, it's a science class. We expect you to remember these things for the next class. And the only way we can do that is to really institute as rigorous of testing as we can. For some quizzes, there will have a part two or a part B that has short answer questions in it and a longer time limit. So let me just explain that for a second. Yeah, and our air conditioning isn't working either. Okay, so, whew. okay. So the <laughs> longer quizzes, the um, components where there's, uh, where I want you to write something for a short answer, those quizzes you will, um, you'll have a choice of questions and then the time limit will be longer, like 20 minutes. And there'll be four questions you have to answer two or four questions you have to answer three. And I'll be expecting sentences, um, thoughts of your own, not just things copied out of the book or from some website. So there are a couple of quizzes that have that, not all of them, but just a couple of them on that. Um, makeup policy is if you miss a quiz, uh, it's a zero. If you miss a quiz and can provide documentation for your absence, um, I'll give you a makeup quiz. It's going to carry a 10% penalty. Um, I usually do those as oral quizzes in a private Zoom meeting. I ask you questions. You tell me the answers. Um, I ask you 10. If the quiz was 100 points, I ask you 10 questions or 11 questions, and you have a past question. Um, if you cheat on a quiz, it's a zero. If you have an accommodation letter for time and a half, you need to let me know. Um, before the first quiz, no letter, no accommodation. Labs, 20% of your grade. As I mentioned, we're gonna have virtual labs, experiments out of a box, um, maybe a microscope, um, and these assignments, which like I said, I don't really know what they are. They're either gonna be pre-lab assignments for some and post-labs. Be working on that as soon as I can. I do believe there is a lab safety kit uh, like lab safety agreement, you'll need to, um, once I get a copy of it, you'll need to read it and then um, I think turn in a signed copy, but I'm not sure. And then the last part is connect, which is basically like extra credit, right? It's 10% of your final grade. The homework's not assigned, so you can take as long as you need. Um, I have it set up that it's just as like practice. So they're not graded assignments, except you just keep doing them until you get 100%. You'll like that part because you can get 100 on all of them. You won't like that part because if you haven't already read the material and studied it a little bit, um, it'll take you a really long time. Okay. Um, I try to keep the assignments at the suggested time for about an hour. Some chapters are longer, um, so I'll put them into two assignments. And I'm gonna put due dates on them for the module, whatever module I put them in, they'll be at the end of that week, right? All right, uh, be nice. This is the virtual etiquette, right, in the classroom. Just please send me the emails. When you send me an email, put as much information in it as you can. It will save us a lot of back and forth. I will try to respond to all your emails within 48 hours. I have office hours scheduled for Mondays and Wednesdays from nine to 11, so right before this class. Um, I just leave it open on my computer, or if you send me um, a request, I'll tell you just join the Zoom meeting early and you know we can go over whatever you need to go over. Uh, I already talked about you're not the only person in the class. Um, don't cheat. Uh, please mute your microphones when you enter. I think I clicked that button in the Zoom controls, but I might not have. Um, I can see you raising your hands or I can see you in the chat. I ch check the chat frequently. It changes colors so I can uh, see um, when people are chatting. And Christina asked me and I forgot to respond to this. Um, I'm planning on lecturing Zooms for you guys Mondays and Wednesdays at 11. So 11 to 12, 11 to 12, 15. It's kind of what I'm figuring on right now. Um, like I said, I record them all. If I remember to hit the record button, I will enable you to record. I'm trying to figure out how to do that automatically in Zoom so I don't have to go through each person. 
phones usually can't, but some tablets and all laptops can record. And you can just do that as a backup if, um, because technologically, sometimes I forget to hit the record button. Sometimes, um, you know, the recording gets disconnected. There, you know, occasionally there's a problem, but I'll do my best. Um, you don't have to attend the Zoom meetings. Remember, they're not mandatory. You can watch the recording. Um, I usually turn off the questions and answers at the end because a lot of times people then show their faces or their living rooms and their kids and their dogs. And I remember I'm gonna post these. I have put them as private on YouTube now, so you won't, no one else will see them but people in the class, but still some people have um, you know, private, they don't want anyone to see that. So that's up to you. And I can always meet with you guys individually or in small groups, either during an office hour or right after class always. Um, or other times, I just need to know, I just need an appointment time and I'll send you a Zoom invite and then we can just meet privately, that's fine too. Um, I usually will not be responding to emails Friday afternoons through Sunday night. Um, I'm having a weekend, I did not all during the summer or all during the spring semester and that was a real um, mistake on my part because I felt like, oh my gosh, someone sent me a question, I have to answer it right away. And I, it, that, it's too much uh, stress for me to, to manage that because most of the questions, sometimes I can't answer them over the weekend anyway, especially if I need uh, technical support or if I have to ask someone else on campus, they're not checking their emails over the weekend. So I'm gonna be, Mondays and Wednesdays are gonna be the days I'll be on the most, but certainly if you have something that you need to ask me on a Tuesday or Thursday, I'll be checking my email on and off during the day. But as I mentioned, because I'm sharing equipment with and spaces with two other people in my house. And one of the other people is teaching, he's an adjunct professor and he's teaching two or three courses also online at two or three different institutions. Some days we, and my daughter, my college age daughter is home uh, taking courses. So we all need to use the same space. And sometimes there's like eight Zoom meetings going on in a day at my house. So I can make time for you, but I just need to know ahead of time. and. I have to limit the time that I'm just on the computer because we just have one. So, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Um, Cameron County doesn't do plus or minuses. So those of you that are just coming from another school or if you're coming from high school, you might not be aware of that. You might be expecting that. And in Canvas, if you don't turn an assignment in, it is just a, as, a, as a hyphen until I enter a zero for the assignment. So check your, um, that changes your total average because when the hyphen is there, it doesn't affect your average. As soon as I add the zero in or whatever your score is that didn't get added in, then that will change your um, class average, right? Um, and then I just put this here at the bottom because I want you to practice. I think I actually put in the one from my, uh, yeah, I love it, it says bio 21. I say bio 221. Just that you've read these and you agree to be helpful and um, collaborative and I think I just put that as a thing for you with a rocket on it for you to sign and upload. I think you can just actually do a signature in the box or you can upload a file. Yeah, either one. That's just to help you practice. Okay. We're going to start with chapter one again when I'm sure that I can tell you how to get in. Um, I did see someone in the chat told me that. Um, so Caitlin used the MH Connect and was able to read the book. Awesome. Yesterday I registered, but I don't remember how I did it. Uh, I can't help you with that. Try it. Um, try going in from um, I, I don't know. I don't want to tell you that because the bookstore is telling us to use this course materials button. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, all right, I'm going to end my recording.